Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given this diode circuit and in this circuit, this diode is the ideal diode. So here we have been asked how this voltage V can be expressed. So for the given circuit, there are only two possibilities for the diode. That means either this diode is in the on condition or the off condition. So first, let's assume that the diode is in the off condition. And considering that, let us find this voltage V. Now when this diode is in the off condition, then the current which is flowing through this loop is equal to 1 milliampere. Because here, this current source is equal to 1 milliampere. Therefore, if we see the voltage across this 1 ohm resistor, then this voltage V is equal to 1 ohm times 1 ampere. That is equal to 1 volt. That means whenever this diode is in the off condition, then this voltage V is equal to 1 volt. Now, this diode will be in the off condition whenever the voltage at the anode is less than cathode. Now, in this case, the voltage at the anode is equal to 0, while the voltage at the cathode or Vk is equal to this V in minus V, or in this case, it is equal to V in minus 1. So, this diode will be in the off condition whenever this vk is greater than va or we can say that whenever this v in minus 1 is greater than 0. So from this we can say that whenever this v in is greater than 1 volt at that time this diode will remain in the off condition and whenever this v in is greater than 1 volt at that time this v is equal to 1 volt. Now from this we can say that whenever this V in is less than 1 volt at that time, this diode will be in the on condition. That means whenever this V in is less than 1 volt, then the diode is in the on condition and it will act as a short circuit because here the diode is the ideal diode. So in this condition, if we apply the KVL in this loop, then we can say that this V in minus V is equal to 0 or we can say that this voltage V is equal to V in. That means whenever this V in is less than 1 volt at that time, this voltage V is equal to V in. So in this way, this voltage V will depend on the value of the V in. That means whenever this V in is greater than 1 volt at that time, this voltage V is equal to 1 volt. And whenever this V in is less than 1 volt at that time, this voltage V is equal to V in. So in a way we can say that this V is equal to this minimum of V in and 1 volt. That means whichever is minimum between V in and 1 volt, that will be the value of the V. That means if V in is less than 1 volt, then V is equal to V in. And whenever this 1 is less than V in, then V is equal to 1 volt. So from this we can say that for the given question, this is the correct answer.